hello let me just show you these then I'm going to cut to a video that I shot in a previous growing year that'll show you an experiment that I conducted with respect to growing vegetables in air pots. Have you heard of air pots? Let me just show you this. I'll move this to one side. We'll have a look at these, then I'll cut to that video. That's a broad bean. A yogurt pot with lots of holes drilled in the sides and holes drilled in the bottom. Garlic growing in that yogurt pot. Holes in the bottom, no holes in the side. I think that's an onion. Holes in the side, holes in the bottom. Mint. Just holes in the bottom on that one. That's definitely an onion. Holes in the bottom, holes in the side. And that's a wild strawberry. Holes in the sides, holes in the bottom. Right, let me show you these. Okay. This is a yogurt pot. Plain and simple. A yogurt pot. If I drill some holes in the bottom of it, it becomes a yogurt pot, plant pot. That's a yogurt pot, plant pot. If I then take this pot and drill some holes in the sides as well as the bottom, like this, it becomes a yogurt pot, air pot. Okay, let me cut you to that video, watch that video, uh, then come back to me. Hello, these are some spring cabbages I was given over a month ago, half a dozen. Um, they should be in the raised bed by now. Uh, but I'm running well behind schedule with these because some of the timbers on the raised beds had gone rotten and I needed to replace them uh, and as we were moving into autumn um, and winter then that was the time to do it when the beds were empty um, so I've, I've been replacing those timbers I haven't quite got finished yet uh, and these spring cabbages will go into a raised bed just as soon as that job's completed but what I'm also doing with these spring cabbages, uh, I'm conducting an experiment. Um, have you heard of air pots? Air pots. Can you see the difference between those two yogurt pots? Let me pop these to the back of this table and explain. So when I first got these spring cabbages, um, one of the things I did want to do was pot them up into these yoghurt pots and try to get a big root system before we move them on into the raised bed. That's one of the mitigators against club root. If you can get a big root system on your brassicas before you plant them, then if there is club root present in the soil, that big root system that you've already got on your brassicas uh, will help deliver uh, a vegetable at the end of the growing season even if they do contact club root um, that good start in life should carry them through to produce a nice uh, cabbage at the end of the growing season so I did want to put them in these uh, yogurt pots and let me show you what I've done by way of conducting an experiment that's a yogurt pot plain and simple. Okay. That's a yogurt pot that's become a plant pot. I've simply popped four holes in the bottom. So that's a yogurt pot, plant pot. 
that's a yogurt pot, plant pot, that's been converted into a yogurt pot, air pot, by drilling all these holes around the side of the pot, this has now become an air pot. Now I've seen the showmen uh, grow vegetables in these air pots, um, mainly onions and leeks, and the idea being is that the root system that develops inside this air pot will try to come through the holes, uh, those roots will be air pruned, and the plant will produce even more roots inside that soil ball. Now that's exactly what we want with these spring cabbages, if we can pull it off. Uh, I've never seen anybody do this before with spring cabbages. I don't know if it'll work, but what I'm going to do now is, I've got three of these in these yoghurt pots, and I've got three of them in these yoghurt pot air pots. Okay, and they've been in these pots for over a month. Let's take them out, uh, have a look at the root ball, uh, and I'll let you decide if, if you think um, this has actually given me a bigger root system. Okay, let's do it. Let's uh, just check where we are. Yep. Yep. So we're going to go with the um, three cabbages that are planted up in yoghurt pots. Yoghurt pot, plant pots. These are the three cabbages in yoghurt pot, air pots. Let's hope these guys will come out. They should do. Oh yeah. Okay, it's a nice fine root system. I think we would be uh, happy with that. Okay, we'll just move that to one side. Like that. Um, yeah, we've got a fine root system on that. I'd like to be more I'd like to see more root in that pot actually uh, before I uh, plant that one out um, Let's pop that down there. Yep What do you think? Yeah, there's some nice fine roots there. Again, I would like more root in that particular soil ball. Um, so that's the three spring cabbages grown on uh, in yoghurt pots. Now, these are the yoghurt pot air pots, as you can see. Let's see what we've got here. What do you think? There actually looks to be more roots on that plant than the other three. I'm just going by where it's got to the bottom and there just seems to be more roots on that brassica grown in that yoghurt pot air pot. What do you think? I know you'll let me know. I know you'll let me know. Right, let me put that to one side. And do this one. Yeah, not as many roots on that one, is there? Not as many roots as the one you've just looked at. But we've got a root ball, yeah. And it must be a, a significant root ball because this compost's not falling away, is it? If there were no roots in there holding that together, that would be all over the place. Last one. Oh yeah, I think that's the best of the bunch. I've saved the best till last. That's an excellent uh, root ball, isn't it? Loads of root there. So, let's see if we can uh, give you a better look at these. 
how we're going to do this. Uh, I don't think we'll get them all. Oh, we might do. That's provided they don't fall off the end of this table. This is going to be a squeeze. <laughs> See, stays them across slightly because we don't want them finishing up on the ground, do we? How's that? So we've got yogurt pot, air pot, yogurt pot, air pot, yogurt pot, air pot, yogurt pot, plant pot, yogurt pot, plant pot, yogurt pot, plant pot. Is there a difference? Can you see a difference? Well, we've done the experiment. Uh, please let me know what you think about these these air pots, if they look as though they're working. Uh, we're definitely going to give it a go with uh, leeks and onions uh, next year when we start those off. Uh, we'll try some in those yoghurt pot air pots, uh, see if they do air prune uh, before we move them into the raised bed or up into bigger pots or bigger buckets. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, give me a thumbs up. Please come back to me. Let me know what you think about these yogurt pot air pots. And um, I think the next time you see me, we'll be planting these guys in the raised bed. Okay, so this is Homegrown Veg, signing out. Thanks for coming back. Uh, what do you think? Do you think the air pots work? I've got to tell you, these guys are zero cost upcycled yogurt pots. So if they don't work, they don't work. <laughs> you haven't spent anything on them other than a little bit of your time to produce some walls. Uh, and if these do work, then when you pot up the vegetable that's growing in here, when you put it in a bucket or when you plant it in the garden, it'll have had that good start in life. It will have a good root ball. Uh, so yeah, you may want to give these a go. If you want to go and buy some air pots, you can certainly do that. Uh, but yeah, it's going to cost you a bob or two. So you might want to try this first. Hey, let me know what you think. Uh, come back to me. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.